What's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of uh, Learning with Rich. Okay, so in our topic, as a continuation of our discussion about the Navisworks Manage 2018 in our Timeliner exercise, so what we're gonna do next after learning how to uh, put task, configure our Timeliner, and simulate Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to teach you how to add some ter uh, third-party scheduling software in your uh, timeliner. So let's say, for example, instead of creating the task here, like what we did, so what we're going to do is, we can create this task. Let's say you already started the task uh, using Microsoft Project. Uh, primavera and those things okay so after you create those uh, schedule you can actually import it here in Navisworks manage so to do that all you have to do is you you just need to go to the data sources tab uh, from here you can add so this tab enables us to import tasks from a third-party uh, scheduling software so like for example the Microsoft project uh, and Primavera and actually you can also add here a CSV file right okay so these are the uh, third-party scheduling software that you can import or that you can add in your Navisworks manage okay so let's go ahead and start so I'm gonna go ahead and select here I'll just import a CSV file okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and then after that, I'm going to select here, open. Okay. All right. So after that, you need to specify the field selector. Like, for example, for the task name. Okay. So you need to add here the external field name. So I already selected this a while ago. So I selected this one. And also the display ID. So instead of that, I'll just use this one. WBS ID. So these are the, actually the field that is available in your uh, data source, the data sources that you have added. Okay. Okay. You can actually specify also here. Okay. But for this one, I'm just going to specify the, the external field name for our task name and display ID. Okay. So I don't have enough information for this uh, columns here for their uh, external field name. Anyway, it's okay. It's just there is just this uh, warning or I mean a uh, pop-up dialog box that will appear after you select okay, just like this one. So you can see this. Okay? It's okay. You can actually select yes. So if you want, you can uh, show the details. But there's no details. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. So I'll just go ahead and select yes. It's just saying here that uh, they want us to specify a column mapping for our synchronization ID, but since I, we don't have that in our uh, source, so I'll just select here uh, No, okay All right, so you, you will now notice it's now added here on our uh, data sources view Okay, so under the name of course again, you can select this and then you can press F2 to change the name right let's say you can rename that it's up to you tasks from uh, csb or whatever name is that then you press enter okay then the next thing that you need to do you need to refresh your source here so that it will be added here on our task okay so to do that so all you have to do is select here refresh and then select uh data source and then after that just select okay so reveal task hierarchy it imports all task structure and data associated with the source okay so i'll just select here okay all right just select okay here it's fine <clears throat> so now that it's uh, already refreshed the next thing that you can do now here is you just need to go to the tasks tab and then you can now see here the task that you just added, right? Okay. So these are the tasks. So as you can see, there are no planned start, planned end, uh, actual or task type or any attached elements in these things because it has 
not something to do with this uh, model here. Okay, of course, if you have the appropriate model, you can attach this. Okay, but then again, it's very cool to know to know that you'll be able to add this uh, task in your project, right? These additional sources to your project. Okay, right? Okay, so basically, that's how you add uh, source to your timeliner. Okay, so because most of us in uh, beam construction in starting a project, especially on the management side, the project management side, they already created this task uh, ahead. So they created that in uh, Primavera, in your Microsoft project, or other scheduling software. So if they already did that, so you can now import that here in your timeliner, which is very uh, time-saving feature of Navisworks, right? Okay, so that's all for this topic. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, all right? So once again, don't forget to... Uh, like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.